Right, I'm doing a little video. In front of me I can see Crook's Peak, I'll zoom in. I'm over, I'm heading towards a pretty area. But there's Crook's Peak there. And if we go over slowly, we should see Brent Knoll. If not, I'll, what I'll do, I'll zoom in and out of it. Yeah, there it is. It's Brent Knoll's just gone and we're coming to the reservoir, Cheddar. Over there, yeah, and I'm up here. I've just walked from Cheddar, just over that way somewhere. Um, there's Roberro Woods over there. There's the top of the Mendips, which I do. I know all this area now. I know it thoroughly. I just had to avoid some cows that were very, well, they were very noisy, but they'd just been given hay in the summer and they had um, a bull with them and they were stamping their feet at me but I came through a little gate down there I'll just zoom in there's a little gate with a sign telling you all about the area I just came through that gate there after walking about inside all that scrubland to avoid those cows that over there but you can there's walks which I'm going to explore in other days when I don't want to do a massive walk but I've got to be aware that those cows seem to occupy a big stretch that I normally do along there. And they're quite noisy and they're quite wild looking, those cows. But there's a walk across there and it's, it's marked. It's a, it's a public pathway that I could probably do to get back to Cheddar a different way. Anyway, I'm up here at the moment and I'm heading for Pretty Fields. Um, which is all over that way um, at the uh, sites because I'm forgetting all the names not piney sites um, there's another type of sites that I'm heading towards <sighs> over there but you've got there's quite a good view here some great big rocks that I'm stood on that stick out when you when you're walking over there where I'm stood this really sticks out like it, like it's a cliff top but when you get up here it looks quite boring well not boring but it doesn't look so domineering but when you're down there and look up these these look quite um, domineering there's another little plateau hill over there that I haven't done yet either. I'm going to keep that. You can't do it all in one day. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here another time and uh, I'm going to explore that area down there. So I haven't really done that and I haven't really walked across the fields. I mean earlier I came up from Cheddar and I climbed up and up and up and up. Right up there I was with some white cows and then I joined a big pathway um, which Another herd of cows have got that side. They seem to occupy that. But there is a track going down from that pathway over there and across as well. So I want to explore this field here. Um, and you can do this in the winter. There are some hardy cows, very hairy cows, that do stay out. Like those quite wild ones, actually. They usually have a bull with them. Over there, um, they don't those big hairy ones they seem to let them stay out now some hairy cows are okay they're not at all they don't show any aggression at all that bunch up there don't seem too bad but all the cows that would normally be out like in the summer because you see the grass is very short now um, this is the area to explore in the winter there's lots to do in the winter um, when <sighs> The cows aren't here, you see. Um, I don't often see the cows in this particular bit, but you can probably bet your life I'll probably come across some in a minute. I'm just doing a bit of exploring around this way. I'm looking out just in case there happens to be a stray bull, um, because they're not warning people anymore either. There's no warnings. Right, I'm not going to spend too much time going up and down these humpy bumpy things. But uh, it does seem to be some sort of natural feature, but I mean, it could have been the remains of settlement in the past. Good place to defend your land, isn't it, up here? I'll we'll just do a little bit of exploring here, which I haven't done before. Not in the, I've usually bypassed here. 
I usually bypass. But this could have been settlement up here. I would have thought it was. I haven't studied the history of this area exactly. Not this particular bit. Um, I think I was going to bring the map and then decided not to for some reason. It's extra weight, see? Yeah, this would have made a nice little home, wouldn't it, here? If you think about it. And here. I've got a feeling these bumps are all what were stones. They get covered up. Now, usually when I've been up here, I come across um, some, they're not, but they're sort of a mixture of pony and horse. And um, I'm not really sure if they're, if they are okay. But you see there's some horse dung there. Yeah, that looks like it's deliberately had a bit cut out of it, doesn't it? There. I'm doing sort of a familiar route, but also exploring some areas. But of course, the reason I've got to do it in the winter is because there's quite often other animals out here. You know, and um, so because of that, I, I can't explore in the summer because there could be a herd of something in here. I mean, basically what it is, um, I've not seen cows in this particular area. But I don't want to get trapped because um, sometimes you go, you, you go rambling off and then you find you can't find the gate. So I'm up on the um, Mendips. This is all part of the Mendips, really. And there are, there should be um, a group of horses around here somewhere. Pony horses. It's a mixture of pony and horse. But um, I mean, what I don't want to find is a bull. And there are some settlements. There are evidence of um, old homes as well. Somewhere around here. Could be down in that valley. I might have passed it now. But um, you can see where the animals, they know their way out. Up through there, look. Right, over and out for a minute. I'm going to be heading across there. So I need to get on a pathway that's going to take me over that way by um, the slights.